Although there are two different conditions, S palsy and Clampis palsy may look similar to some people. Truly, they are both brachial plexus injuries, but certain features put them in a different grounds. With S palsy, it involves injury to the upper nerve root of the brachial plexus, C5 and C6. With Clampis, it also involves lower parts of the brachial plexus, C8 and T1. Now, with S palsy, it involves muscles of the forearm as well as all parts of the upper arm. With Clampis palsy, it involves muscles of the hand, the flexors of the wrist and fingers, and sometimes the forearm. With S palsy, clinical presentation is waiter's tape deformity. With Clampis, the clinical presentation is claw hand deformity. With S palsy, it's caused by a blow to or fall on the shoulder from motorcycle or horse, and sometimes difficult birth. With Clankis, it can be caused by forceful breach delivery or when a person grasps a tree branch to break from a fall. With S palsy, there is absence of harness syndrome. With clanky palsy, there is presence of harness syndrome, especially when the injury involves the T1 nerve roots. Harness syndrome, uh, meiosis, ptosis, and anhydrosis.